Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough, where we only deploy female soldiers and occasionally uh, a mech, a mech, uh, like the one on the left. And the mechs are always female. But today we're gonna go on Operation Hellwagon. Another UFO has, for some reason, crash landed in uh, the South America, I think. Um, this mission is marked as very difficult, but it seems like we should be fine. The only problematic enemies on the field will be a gatekeeper and an Andromedon, but this is the perfect moment to get some more promotions in. So on this mission, taking with us the Spark Unit EV, then uh, Grenadier Jacqueline Morrell, Sharpshooter Erica Crawford, Specialist Kelly Brown, um, Ranger Emily Walker, and I'm losing my train of thought here, but Grenadier Marina Ivanova. With that team, we're gonna go and uh, take out everything that is basically still alive around that uh, UFO. And there we go, dropping into the forest. And that's why we brought the sharpshooter with us. We're gonna be in the advantage here if we have the range. UFO site coordinates locked in. Move to secure the area, neutralize all hostiles. I think Erica is in a perfect position even from here, which is uh, nice. And do we get control? Because, yeah, there we go. So if we can, we should use a Skulljack on a Codex, but I'm only going to do that if it's basically the last enemy on the field. Because if you've played this game, you know what's going to happen if you actually manage to Skulljack that Codex. Confirmed. Let's drop down and move up, and I'll see you guys in a second once we spot our first enemies. And I think Eevee spots something. We're moving uh, in the classic XCOM the style. Yeah. There we go. So we got a Lancer, a Purifier and a Shield Bear, I think. Oh no, it was a Priest and a Shield Bear. Um, but still, we're moving along uh, slowly, one by one, and I'll see you guys when we start engaging. And they are coming in our direction, so I feel like we're gonna get spotted. I put the mech pretty close. So this might trigger them. Yeah, there we go. Because we got the Long Watch trigger, which means that they're gonna get shot. Uh, we got eight damage on the Lancer with Erica's Overwatch shot. And there they go. So we know who needs to get those promotions in. Uh, the priest is moving back, but everybody else moves actually closer. That doesn't seem like the brightest idea. Oh, we get the Andromedon as well. How the hell does that work? That is... Okay. That is kind of ridiculous, but... We just picked up an outbound signal coming from the UFO. It's some kind of distress beacon. You need to get inside that ship and shut down the signal before they send their whole fleet after us. Uh, so I think we can deal with the guys on the left here pretty easily. But then we'll have to deal with... Yeah. The Andromedon and that Sectoid as well. A Sectoid? It's been a while, by the way, that we saw a Sectoid. But... I want to check out Erica's shot here. So she has a 100% shot on the Lancer on the left. Or even 98 on the Sectoid. Her shots are actually, actually pretty good. And I think she has, she has that Dead from Above ability, right? Yeah, so killing an enemy at a lower elevation with your sniper rifle costs only a single action and does not end your turn. So I can kill something from over here if I want to. But, 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 that Andromedon is going to be the biggest problem. Everything else I think we can deal with because of the double grenadier we have with us at the moment. There are no flank shots. But we can actually do pretty okay. So let's try overdrive. There we go. And then we can fire at the la 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 lancer. There we go, 81%. And that's a kill. Do I get a badge or something? No, you don't, but then 80% on the purifier. And that's a hit. And if we can manage a third hit, I even get a trophy for this, but we're gonna have to hit this 65% shot. Here we go. And we do, that means. There we go, always be shooting. I mean, we even get another action. I'm gonna save that. Just in case we can manage to pull off the blasted bomb, I think we might even... No, we can hit two of them with that. 
But that's, yeah, I'm gonna wait, hold off on that. Now, Marina. Marina has the Shredstorm Cannon, but more importantly, I think it's gonna be safer if we just use the Acid Bomb. Um, I can't hit the Sectoid and the Andromedon, it seems. Yeah, it's blocked by the logs. No, but Acid Bomb is gonna take care of the armor of the Andromedon. Although it's not gonna do anything else, is it? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I think we can do better. If I use a Plasma Grenade on this area so we can take out the cover of both of these guys. I'm gonna take out the tree apparently as well where uh, Emily is hiding behind, but... In Granades! The Jacqueline! There we go! Down range and there we go. Biggest boom shredding and the sectoid is basically dead. Yeah, the sectoid is basically dead. I could fire again. Uh, 76 on that sectoid is actually not that bad. Or I could do run and gun, but run and gun isn't going to help us that much. So, just fire at the sectoids. Um, blammo. 10 damage on his ass. A blah blah blah. Promotion earned, finally. We finally get that promotion. That was... Yeah, that was a long time coming. Um, now, at the moment, we don't have a flank shot on the Andromedon. But, if I move over here, and with rapid fire, I should be able to finally. kill it in one go. Hopefully, we don't spot anything else, but that's... There we go. Is exactly what I wanted. Double 83% shot. And we only need one shot. I don't know if she can actually fire again now. No, she doesn't. Okay. Uh, we still have the blaster bomb if you want to. Do I have an autoloader? No. Don't have an autoloader on Eevee. And we still have Marina as well here. You know what? That thing is now a robot, right? Because it is a mechanical unit. So the EMP bomb... What else do we have? We have a gatekeeper on the field, but that's basically it. So the EMP bomb is going to have to be used now. Like this. So that's 12 guaranteed damage. Oh, and even more, it's even shut down. Aha! That's actually really good, because that means that I can focus on the priest now. Let's toss a... Uh, yeah, let's toss an acid bomb on the this priest. So he has a little bit of issues with that. A blammo, acid burn. Now he is well covered, but I still have... Erica shot here as well. 67 isn't the end of the world here. And I know the Andromedon is still shut down for at least one more turn. So I think I might as well try a shot at the Elite Priest. 67%. She's floating in midair. There we go. That's That should be a kill, right? A critical? Or is he go? Yeah, he goes into stasis. Okay. Then I think I'm just going to use Kali's shot on the Andromedon, right? Although Kali's going to kill it then. Yeah, I'm going to kill it. Okay, here we go. And then we can reload Eevee. And we're gonna get... Yeah, he... I hate that the acid ticks first before stasis ends. No, we're not. That priest should have died already. But I don't think he can actually hit somebody here. No. Okay. So I need to get into the UFO to turn off the distress signal as well. Because otherwise we're going to be in trouble. Let's move up. On my way. And I think I'm going to have to move up with Erica as well. Ah, we see him again. He's all the way in the back there. <laughs> I see him, but I don't see him. I see the percentages, but I don't see his exact position. Let's see what... Uh, oh, this is dangerous. I shouldn't probably be doing this. Because there are still a lot of enemies inside of the UFO. And that Distress Beacon... 
I can still handle with that. So I'll see you guys in a second. So I moved everybody up, but I think I'm gonna try and take the two. Wait a second, does this gun actually have a stock? Can't see that, right? Uh, the stock, yeah, I can't even see that with green markers, so might as well just try it. I think the stock might actually kill it if it. Or no, we can just hit the 50-50. That's also a good option. Um, I am just gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna risk Emily getting shot here, so just put it on Overwatch and we'll move everybody else up closer as well. Oh, and we get a codex and, ooh, three codexes. Codices. Commander, that codex provides the ideal opportunity to infiltrate the advent network. We will need to move in with the Skulljack to initiate the process. Ooh, that is probably not a good idea. I shouldn't probably do this, but I'm, I'm going to try. <laughs> this is a bad idea. This is such a bad idea. I shouldn't do this at this point. We're in a bad way here. Um, but okay, fine. Let's go check the Codex. I, I, I am. Yeah, okay, mamma mia. Here we go, boys. Uh, small intel cache. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go for 53 then. Oh, but we don't get it, so we get even. We get damaged even. Ooh, okay. A little bit of feedback damage. Oh, and it spawns inside. No. How much health does that thing have? It's not that bad, actually. Something entirely new. An alien species that has so far managed to elude capture or observation by resistance forces. I strongly advise a cautious approach. Okay, he opens up the door. Ooh, that's a really bad position for you, buddy. Um, okay, first things first, I have a little bit of a plan for this. Um, first things first, I want to have the flashbang. So Jacqueline, use the flashbang on this area so you hit both codexes and the avatar i'm not actually sure if the avatar is immune for the flashbang but uh, we'll see now it's probably not gonna have shredding either but yeah okay so the avatar is immune he did get hit there so i don't know what's gonna happen nothing okay that means that i should probably move in with emily 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 yeah Emily over here. Here I come. And then we, we can fire away with the shotgun. 97%, 94% crit chance. There we go. 14 damage and tree shredding. And he moves back, but we have a sniper available as well. To a new position as soon as it took damage. Yeah, that's the annoying thing about uh, an avatar, but. But. Ah, no, she can't see him yet. Okay, so then I need to get another hit in on it. Uh, six to seven. I can't reach with the grenades. But I can reach with the blaster bomb. I could reach with the blaster bomb. If I want to kill it immediately. I should probably not take any chances. Although I could use the blaster bomb for the gatekeeper as well. No, I'm going to use it for the avatar. There we go. Ah, and there we go, that's also a trophy, killing an avatar with a, with a spark unit. There we go, matter over mind. And there it goes. Okay, so that means that we have uh, one codex left. He's gonna get shot in the face. Should have probably moved Marina before it did happen. <laughs> I'm just a bit high on everything right now. Uh, and that's a 100% shot on that codex, so never mind. I should just shut up and let Erica handle things. And she's dealing out the criticals as well. That was a nice shot. Okay. Um, and then Jacqueline, let's move her over here as well. Because uh, we can't forget there's still a gatekeeper on the field. A gatekeeper with a mech, I think. So really, really careful here. But we should be fine. I can disable the distress signal in the next turn if I want to. I'm just going to take a look inside of the room first. Because we never actually did that. Yeah, there here. we go. The gatekeeper, Mac and Lancer. Uh, 
Uh, the mech is probably going to go on Overwatch. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I could use running gun. So I'm gonna do. I'm going to do that so I can put Emily over here, and then she can hack the workstation. Although I could do. Hmm. I could let Kelly do that as well because Kelly has a better way of doing that. But you know what? Never mind. I'm gonna Anyone check. I could check if it does give you a hacking insight. Ooh. Research time or contact post. Yeah, I don't care about any of those. So let's just do it. Oh, wow. We even get it. We don't really care. I think it's the hunter weapons that we're researching at the moment. But workstation disabled. We've and now. The alien distress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. So now, um, I don't think, does that, oh, did that use an action? Oh god, that did use an action. Then we're in really big trouble. Because I have nothing left. Ooh, that was, that's problematic. Um, I think, I think it's high time for the Shredstorm cannon. How far can I throw an acid bomb inside? Not far. Okay, and the Shredstorm cannon widens quite a bit, and it seems like it's going to be enough to actually take out the Lancer as well, but for that to succeed, I need to move Jacqueline out of the way. Let's put Jacqueline to the side here, and then let her toss a plasma grenade Over here on the corner, although I might be able to toss it inside now. I think with this, I hit both of them. So let's use the plasma grenade. Like uh, this. There we go. Shredding, damage, all of that good stuff. Then... Uh, I think I'm gonna have to move Kelly. Whew. I wanna try and move her in a position where she can actually see the uh, gatekeeper, but it's gonna be hard to do. Let's first check out the Shredstorm Cannon now that I've moved everybody out of the way. Uh, so, Shredstorm Cannon, like this basically. It does not have infinite range, by the way. I thought it would have, but apparently not. I think... I'm, go I'm gonna not take any chances, because it didn't seem like the first one actually hit the Gatekeeper. So this is gonna hit the Gatekeeper with Furious Force. There we go. That th that's taken out the Lancer, at least. And basically the entire <laughs> interior of the... Uh of the UFO there. I'm gonna move Marina up now. Now. Um, that still didn't give me a shot with Erica. So I'm gonna have to move her maybe to the side here. How is this place is entirely open now? Now I'm gonna put it over here. Affirmative. I should give her a shot next time. Um, Callie. Kelly is going to be the most annoying one. Because I want to give her a good position, but I don't think Absolutely. this is going to do it. I think she's going to have to stand by for uh, for healing. Yeah, she can't do anything else. Um, and then Evie. I could actually stand over here with Evie. I'll comply for now. Oh, the Overwatch. Ah, oh, come on. Overwatches on max are ridiculously overpowered sometimes. Okay, gatekeeper over there. And that was a 68% miss. Okay. And yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, do Overwatch over here. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Gateway. Ay, 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 ay. Ah, untouchable on Marina, but I think the mech is going to use micro-missiles, probably. Oh no, he's going for... He missed! He missed the flank shot. Okay. That is good. 
That is really, really good. Okay, I'm happy with that. If that's the last of it. Yeah, that's the last of it. Okay. Whew. That could have been a lot, a lot worse. Um, Emily. Emily. Can you please fire at the gatekeeper? Because you have the highest crit chance. So if you can... Hmm, can I actually get closer? You know what? Let's put Evie over here. I'm compelled to agree. Then fire at the mech, shredding most of his armor away. If not all. There we go. All. My weapon is nearly depleted. Then uh, we can use... Ooh, we can also use the sniper rifle shot, but before that, I'm going to use Emily. Take over behind Eevee. Here I come. And then let's just fire at the gatekeeper with the highest crit chance possible. Oh, wait a second. That thing explodes, doesn't it? I might have made a little bit of a mistake there, but... Nothing I can do about that right now. Uh, heavy mech, please take that one out. There we go, that goes the mech. Don't know if Marina got a promotion as well. Doesn't sound like it. And then we can use a sniper rifle shot on the gatekeeper. And that should take it out. I don't think we took damage. There we go. Whew, that got a bit heat, more heated than I expected it to be. But we did get the avatar in the first mission after we could... Uh, which was really, really good. Uh, we even took it out with uh, with Eevee, so that's perfect. Or excellent, as the game states over here. And there we go, back home with uh, a few promotions in the bag, if I'm not mistaken. We do have uh, a few people wounded, but look at that. So Eevee got her second, I think second promotion. Not entirely sure. Yeah, Rainmaker or Strike. Attack an enemy within movement range with a powerful melee attack. I want to try that out. Even though Rainmaker is really, really good, I want to try out Strike. There we go. And then we get Jacqueline, our first Colonel Grenadier, going for Saturation Fire. Fire a cone of shaped barrage of bullets at every enemy in an area. In addition, the cover of those enemies can be damaged or destroyed. But it uses a lot of ammunition or Rupture Shot. Deals critical damage and ensures that the target takes an additional plus 3 damage from all attacks in the future. So both of them are really good abilities. Uh, I'm going to go with Saturation Fire first. But I'm going to check in a second whether I can buy Rupture with ability points. I'm actually pretty sure that I can buy Rupture with ability points. So uh, doing that right now probably. So we got... Although I firmly believe the specimen we have recovered is crucial to the alien's efforts. We currently do not have the means of properly studying. Because we need to upgrade the Shadow Chamber. But we got the Avatar Corpse. This body exhibits no signs of decomposition. And initial scans show a disconcerting level of low order brain activity. Reports of auditory hallucinations from the staff that handled this specimen are disturbing. But as yet, they are unsubstantiated. But still, enough to mention the report apparently. We get an advanced repeater, 3 codex brains, 118 alien alloys, 68 alien crystals, an alien core, 220 supplies, and the corpses and wrecks of everything we killed. New objective added. So, complete the Avatar Autopsy Shadow Project. That's another thing we can do. So, uh, their so-called Avatar, at the cost of countless human lives, they have finally succeeded. So, the health bar you get on the Avatar is the same as the progress on the Avatar Project, if you were wondering why it was damaged. Um, but uh, yeah, we were really successful in keeping that low enough, so uh, we should not be too worried right now. But Jacqueline with her rupture ability, I think that's gonna... Yeah, we're gonna have to go with that. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go with rupture, there we go. Rupture shot with critical damage and takes an additional 3 damage from all attacks in the future. Gonna be really handy to take care of uh, bigger units. And when we get back, the Avatar project is actually reduced because we uh, took care of an Avatar. The Avatar project, excellent work, Commander. Why, thank you, Council. So the supply drop is still available. We weren't completely done with that, so I'm just gonna head back over there to Africa. And there we go. All of that in the bag. 821 supplies now. Uh, I do need to build another radio relay. 
Uh, reducing contact cost is useless. I'm just checking what I can scan. And I think there was one over here, and that's just Intel. So, I don't really care. Um, so that's going to be plus 63, and that's going to be plus 44. So let's take the Eastern US to build a radio relay, our final one of the game. 450 supplies. Let's install that over there. That takes care of about half of our supplies, but on the other hand, we don't really have that much to... Uh, build anymore uh we're gonna probably get a few more trophies um if you manage to build that radio relay we're gonna get one um we want to set back the aliens work on the avatar ooh, project another we facility one of their facilities as soon as possible and that's exactly what we're gonna do but first let's build that radio relay and we get the hunter another weapons important step forward in our research so let's complete that. Aside from the eldest, blah, 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 blah. the Dark Lands and the Dark Claw we got. So the Dark Claw, it uh, appears to mimic the design of traditional revolvers found on Earth. The technology involved here is anything but conventional. And the Dark Lands, the rifle belonging to the Chosen Hunter, has probably seen more death than we can possibly imagine. And we got modular sniper rifles as well. Um, will allow us to add another weapon upgrade slot to all. Wait. Oh, and improved auto pistols. We must begin researching improved auto pistols. So that's just... Okay. Ah, oh, might as well. <laughs> There's nothing else that we can do. That is an important task, Commander. Because I still need to upgrade the uh, shadow chamber. There we go, 200 supplies to upgrade the... Now that the ah, are that doesn't take any time to build. And there we go, we get a promotion for Lisbeth since the covert action is complete. So UFO defense construction, uh, reducing the cost of the UFO defense facility by 50%. Not that interesting, but at least we got it uh, and Lisbeth can be promoted. And then we're going to go for 15 ability points that gives Heidi plus 10 dodge as well if she succeeds. So uh, there we go. And then we can promote Lisbeth to, I think she also was, yeah, a sniper. Um, so let's just go with Killzone as her ability. And then our third spark unit is complete. I could assign a new project, but I'm not exactly sure what else we could do. Um, we have two more cores. Oh, you know what? Let's go for another experimental powered weapon. Uh, this costs 50 supplies. Oh, and that's, oh, that completes immediately. That's another plasma blaster. I do. I'm looking for the flamethrower. I think we don't have the flamethrower just yet. So, do I do that again then? Just burning through my, <laughs> burning through my cores. Yeah, here we go. Ah, there we go. The hellfire projector. I don't think I ever used this before. Um, as a massive damage in a small cone. So, I can of course apply the burning status effect. But, continuing on with the radio relay, and we're done. There we go, that should also get us another trophy. Tactical analysis, global resistance completed. So enemy units lose one action on their next turn if discovered on the XCOM turn. So if we initiate combat, all the enemies we start initiating combat on only get one uh, action in their next turn. And that's everything we could do. That's the entire world back, uh, covered with scans and radio relays and everything. So uh, that's really, really nice. We could increase region income, but I think the one and only important thing, well, interesting thing that we can scan for is that Intel uh, over here at power fluctuations. Avenger, Improved auto pistols is complete, so we can assign your research, but I don't think that's going to help us though. So auto pistols now have increased damage. Uh, UFO that was successful. Alien data cache encryption is inspired. Okay then, fair enough. Let's just use that one day. And there we go. 59 Intel. Let's assign new research. I don't think we have anything else. Oh, what the hell? We've made an astounding breakthrough with an Illyrium conduit construction. Well, might as well. I don't really need more power, but since we're doing this anyway. And you know what? Instead of just continuing to scan, oh, Our actions have succeeded. there we go. So that's 15 more ability points. Then we're going to go for the scientist because Jessica can get another promotion from that. And since we, yeah, we're just going to do all of that. Because <laughs> those three promotions are going to come in really, really handy that we have a backup team if, uh, if needed. But 
But, 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 let's go back to the bridge. I want to find the facility that is protected by a powerful enemy. Um, I think it's supposed to be one of these. Not entirely sure. Maybe I should have, because there are apparently less facilities than I thought there were. I thought there were more facilities. I think... Yeah, it should be one of these. Aha! An extremely powerful and dangerous alien is guarding this location. And it is protected by priest, shield bear, heavy mag, gatekeeper and trooper. So aside from the gatekeeper, this seems to be fine. But assaulting this facility will give us another uh, alien ruler. Um, and I think that's exactly what I want to do. So let's assault this facility. We're going to bring the fight to advent now that we have the upper hand and try and finish this off in style. So if we can get all the rulers down before we start the final batch of the game, then we've uh, really done a completionist run with only female soldiers. Oh, would you look at that. The Dark Law actually ignores armor and is one damage yeah, stronger than the normal pistols. So definitely uh, going with the Dark Law on Christina. Then the Raid Suit, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't give her the... The super, the dark lands. So, I'm not taking any chances with these alien rulers. So we had the perfect setup to take out this alien ruler from afar and with brute force. So the plan is to deal damage from afar with the two sharpshooters. We also have the plasma caster or the bolt caster, whatever this thing is supposed to be called, uh, which can stun it. Um, then we have the frost attack from the serpent suit and a double frost bomb to disable it as well. So I think with all of that, we can definitely take out an alien ruler in one go, which has, also has a few trophies tied to it. Um, and Elena actually still has banish, so that's gonna come in really, really handy as well. I actually should check that, because I think she actually has some weapon upgrades. Or not, no. So superior expanded magazine, that's definitely the maximum I could do. Um, and the repeater, I've never seen that trigger on her, but it could trigger on uh, alien rulers, I know that, and the advanced talk. So yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So even missed shots will do three damage. That is absolutely fine. So this is going to be the squad for next time. Elena, Erica, Christina, Kelly, Heidi, and Marina on Operation War Slayer, where we're going to take out hopefully take out our second alien ruler. But before that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of XCOM 2 The Valkyrie playthrough. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Thanks enormously for watching and goodbye.